What's up everybody, Emperor John Kill 3D Gaming here with another video and I was sent this link uh, on Discord. It was DM'd to me by a subscriber. Thank you for the link. He says, since John, I'll take your word when it comes to how the characters in God of War are portrayed, such as how Thor's portrayed, uh, how they're doing the Norse mythology, how they did the Greek mythology, you know, because I, I love God of War. I've invested so much time into the series. I went through the whole series, played every game from top to bottom, and even watch videos to see the differences between this and the different mytho how they do the mythology different compared to how the actual mythology is portrayed. Because remember, God of War is a loose representation of how these mythologies are. These the developers have always done a good job when they portrayed Greece. And they did a real good job portraying the Norse world. But apparently a lot of people, and I've seen this gone on recently, have an issue with two characters. And they're calling for hypocrisy and double standard without even, you know, with the game not even coming out yet. So people like this are easy to debunk. And I guess today's lovely video comes from Primitive Ramblings. And by what my subscriber told me about this... I guess that gorilla f picture fits, but let's get into this. Every other week now, there's a brand new race swap, and it's, it's boring me to death. It's pathetic. That's what it is. It's absolutely pathetic. But with this one in particular, they've exposed themselves for how hypocritical they are. Which most of us know that by now, and it's, it's point. When has Santa Monica ever been hypocritical? For my understanding, especially, they're like one of the last good game developing studios, and they've never had a controversy behind them. So whatever controversy this may be, it might be self-generated from people like this. Because by the, by the way his voice is, he just sounds very close-minded. But let's keep going. Pointless trying to argue with these types. They know they're hypocrites. Oh, well, maybe that's giving them too much credit. But they, they know they're hypocritical, and some of them are just dipshits. We call it out, and they jump straight to racism. Because they don't have an argument. And it may seem like... So far, by what I've seen, nobody, when it came to the Thor argument, or the Ambrogoda argument, which I know, I'm pretty sure this is about, he's talking about Ambrogo Am Ambrogoda, or Angroboda. So... He sounds like the type that's already not even going to give the game a chance, which is, again, close-minded. And I think this guy sounds like he, he lives in a self-conceited bubble and doesn't want it to be popped. Like to some that we're only bothered by the white characters. But this is a, this is a one-sided thing. That's why it seems like we're only calling out one side, because it's one-sided. If I went and changed the race of a black guy to a white guy, it'd be, you're a racist, you're a bigot. That's what it would be. So let's Did he list any examples? Or is he using that, uh, what was it, that Marvel What If controversy when it came to putting a, a white guy in the Black Panther suit? If that's the only thing he's doing, then he's using basically something that was just created a couple weeks ago. That's already a bad argument if that's the case because that's exactly what it sounds like because if he just l didn't list no examples because had to do this right he should have just listed off examples let's use ghost of tsushima as an example say i'm remaking or doing a sequel to the game and it's not diverse enough for me what if i take Jin and just go white guy what is the point of that there's no point that is such a flimsy excuse, trying to say just, oh yeah, I'll turn Jin into a white guy. But the thing is, Sucker Punch isn't stupid either. Sucker Punch is a good studio and actually listens to fans. So that was just a flimsy. He he, I think he just he just shot his own point in the foot without even realizing it. Pointless. It's in Japan. Centuries ago, there would be there would not be any white people there. My position doesn't change no matter what way it goes. 
because at least I try and be consistent. Whereas these types, they... He just said he tried to be consistent, yet he was just... He just compl he was just completely inconsistent just a few moments ago. So I mean Oh man, this is gonna be fine. And you guys know nothing get nothing is more irritating to me than stupid hypocritical people who try to call others for their hypocrisy. I've got no consistency whatsoever. I mean they can contradict themselves in the same fucking article. Cause that's how stupid they are. But over the weekend, a, a God of War Ragnarok trailer came out with a fat four, which is, it is accurate. So, so they were praising the, the realism of it. Okay, that's the thing. It might be historically accurate, but his actions of how he's been set up in the world is already different than Thor. It, historically accurate, Thor is not supposed to be the bad guy. The Aesir gods are supposed to be the good ones, while the Frost Giants are supposed to be the villains. You know, that's just how it is. Now, don't get me wrong, Thor's portrayal right there is fine. I don't care. He still looks like he could fuck you up. And from his description right here, it looks faithful to his Norse portrayal. I mean, you got all these people that just rely on the MCU version, Chris Hemsworth's Thor, as the all portrayal of Thor, even though that's, like, far from... The most realistic Thor you can get, but let's continue. Then we've got Angaboda. Then we've got the actual Angaboda. No reason for it. Again, do you not know that even the God of War games are flimsy with the mythology, even the original God of War series? So. I I'm guarantee you his logic is I think by his logic that the games are accurate to mythology. So basically Kratos and all the stuff that happened is real. That that's how it sounds so far. Within just two minutes he contradicts himself and his argument, breaking it. But the game journalists are absolutely frothing at the mouth. God of War Ragnarok showcases much needed diversity and should be applauded, not criticized. <laughs> Fucking these dicks. These yeah, absolute dicks, man. With fresh gameplay shown at the PlayStation Showcase, God of War Ragnarok is showing some much needed diversity. Of course, some corners of the internet aren't happy about it. Yeah, because we're fucking normal. The game will follow the 2018 PS4 title set in the world of Norse mythology. As the second and final part of the story, Ragnarok is set to include some of the more commonly known gods from mythology, like Odin and Freya. That also includes Thor. Now, contrary to popular belief, Thor is not a buff and impossibly good-looking Avenger. Thor is the god of thunder. He has great strength, he's quick-tempered, he's almost always betrayed with long red hair and a beard, and he loves to drink. In this depiction of the character that the Sony Santa Monica team are basing their version of Thor on, though likely with a few twists, and so when they revealed the character design for, for Thor following the PlayStation Showcase with his long red hair and great belly, it shouldn't have been met by surprise. Artist Raf Graffetti shared the design on Twitter, but while some resp re responses praised his, let's be honest, hot dad design? Is that a hot dad, is it? Some responses were overly critical. So talking about the responses, they go, These responses are not only unnecessarily fat phobic. Fat phobic ain't a thing. I'm on the sort of fat side. I don't care if you call me a fat bastard. It doesn't bother me. Fat phobic? Oh, just piss off these people trying to get their victim cards they show do you already sound like you got a chip on your shoulder i know plenty of thick people but they don't sound like this oh a disregard for both the original source but these people have shat all over source material they can't use this fucking argument obviously i've defended what four looks like fair enough that's, that's how he has been sort of described but they they go they show a disregard for both the original source material and the allowance for the Sony team 
to reinterpret the character. Marvel has a lot to answer for. Then there's Anger Boda. She's one of the last remaining giants or Jotun in the world of God, God of War Ragnarok. And again, her character stems from the original mythology as Loki's love interest and the mother of monsters. And here in the game, she's black. Well, we should clap. We should clap that you race changed the character because you're lazy. Because you couldn't be bothered going, I'll tell you what we do. We come up with a brand new game. And this is like set in like, like African mythology. They couldn't be bothered to do that. And let's be honest, no, no gamer. Okay, I'm going to shatter his whole world view. Okay. He seems so focused on the character just having their correct race. But when the real person, the actual normal person looks at it, as long as the character does the role that she has done in the mythology, if they accurately portray what she does in the mythology in the game, so what if her skin tone is darker? I think it's more important for the role she should fulfill. If she can fulfill her role as Ambigoda, does it really matter? And if she's the last of the giants, most of the giants in the first, if you remember that scene at the end of the game where you see all the dead giants, you can't really get a tell, but they look fucking huge. Who's to say Amber Goder doesn't take this shape to hide herself? Who's to say this is even her final look? Like, the look, this could be a look to hide her, to hide herself if she's the last giant. You know, it could, it's easy to just take some sense, but it doesn't seem like this guy has a lot of sense to, to even think that far. It might be too complicated for him. And what about Kratos? Does everyone forget that Kratos... Is played was played by two separate black actors. And check this shit out. I got it pulled up right here. Screen cap. Compared to everyone else in the game, in the other God of War games, everyone was light skinned. Yet Kratos, his daughter, except for the wife, because the wife was portrayed as light skinned in the flashback scenes of Ascension. Look at that. You see all that right there? Look, dark, dark. He's dark skinned. And I know that Spartans were not dark skinned. Tan probably because of being in the sun, but that's with anybody. But that is one or two shades above the normal black. But nobody bitched that he was dark skinned back then. And even if the inter if the internet was out back then, probably. But I haven't seen nobody now still bitch up, especially in this age where people, where these SJWs and shit like that like to go back in, uh, or anti or whatever, like to bring up shit from the past to prove their points. Look at that right there. Kratos is dark-skinned. So, what's the problem? You can't say he's a white guy either because the ashes of his family goes on his body is what makes his skin white. And that's ash color, so he's technically pale white. Or just pale. That right there just destroyed that one. The, actually, the whole scene when Kratos makes the deal with Ares and you see Kratos' skin. And then later when Kratos gets the ashes put on him, you still see in plain view. And there's torches in the place where he's slaughtering his family. His skin is dark. You can't say it's a trick of the light either. It, he's dark skin. This dude needs to get over himself. Kratos was dark skin. I don't see your outrage about that, but you're outraged about Amber Goda. See? He just just showed his hypocrisy. Because if you claim to be a God of War fan, anybody would know this. No matter their race has ever played God of War and went, where's the black people? I can almost certainly guarantee that. But if, if these people, people want to play this stupid game of pointless diversity with within Norse mythology, where's your, where's your Japanese, your Chinese, your Indian, your natives, your Middle Eastern, your Taliban official, you bigot? Where's... This dude is retarded. He just committed bigotry right there and didn't even realize it. Again, all the God of War games are loose with the mythology. Okay? After, again, right here, 
this alone right here when it comes to the original series saying where was all the dark skinned people look right here kratos was one of them you didn't no one said anything about it and i still saw no one bringing it about bringing up bringing anything up about it where are those who, who is this who is this for who's who's it appealing to your friends in the gaming industry the game journalists or, or the weirdo SJWs that won't even make an attempt at buying this game. So like I said, just so you know, the majority of people, including every race, we think you're weird as fuck. Because it's funny, even the God of War community was excited and praised the God of War trailer. You know, there's a YouTuber called Captain Cuba. Big God of War fan. Funny how he doesn't make this a big deal, and in fact could even use in-universe lores to explain it. For someone who claims to, well, I don't know if you claim to be a fan, but if you probably think you're a fan of the game, you need to go back and do your research and play the games again. Because what about, what about when we get to the Egyptians? Hmm? Because I'm pretty sure, because that's where God of War is going next in the series. They've made a lot of hints to Egyptians. So are you going to get mad that if the Egyptians are dark-skinned too, which that's actually historically accurate? Are you going to bitch and complain then? See, this dude, Primitive Ramblings, is like, this This video, he's like making every point. Not only does he destroy his own points, because there's already stuff out there to destroy it. There's no weight he has behind this, you know, no pun intended to him. Because you're obsessed with race of people. You're obsessed with race. But it, it seems like the it seems like the gaming industry wants to they want they want to copy Hollywood. And the reason for that is of it is cause, see because the gaming industry is still bringing in a lot of money. They they think they can lose a few customers. That's that's what they think. But this this isn't appealing to fucking actual gamers. You dumb shits. We just go what a weirdo. But they continue licking asses. This deserves to be celebrated. Not only is the character beautifully crafted, offers a great representation. Okay, you know what's funny? He's using the words of a small community of the weirdos. Yes, I admit they're out there. But he's just using that small community. And watch this. I'm going to show you something real quick. Hold on. Uh, Yeah, let's go to this real quick. Hmm. He said the majority of the fan base agrees with him, right? So, um, the damn. This, uh, damn. Damn. That like to dislike ratio kind of disproves him again as it is. and has wonderfully realistic hair why shouldn't she be black well because the character out of Norse mythology isn't black that's why do I need to shout it in your fucking ear for you to get it thankfully responses to actress Layla De Leon Hayes are positive but there are sadly racist reactions to the character for example, in the replies to the artist, just dinner kapadada, celebration of the character. See what I mean? They, they jump straight to, oh, you called it out, you're racist. Well, with the way you've been acting, you've had some very racial tendencies already in this video that of yours. So either you two, either you're being blatantly ignorant or you're just being plain stupid because there are people like that out there. OK, you're not going to make everyone happy. What should matter is, will she do a good job in the role? Will she fulfill the role of that character? And at the end, how will it turn out in the story? That's really what should matter at the end of the day. But you got fuck nuggets like this making it difficult for everyone else. Who you, They're using empty and basic logic. And logic that doesn't even, it's not even solid or sound. No, you're racist. So, so we can see the, the contradiction. So they say they. 
You've contradicted yourself, Lord knows. I wish I had a timer or a, a contradictions counter. Show a disregard for the original source material. Right, you, you so you've just defended the source material. And then if we jump forward again, and here in the game she's black, which they're praising. Do you not see the hypocrisy of that? Is it is it because you're you're a liar? Is that it? You're either, you're either a liar or you're very fucking stupid. Like you sounding in this video? Pick one. I'll pick one for you. Fucking both. You d nah, you said pick one. It can't be both. Don't break your own rules for your own satisfaction, buddy. That's not how things work in the real world. Oh man, you're a fucking liar. Again, th this is this is absolutely pointless. What what does this add to the fucking game? Oh well, uh, we got one black girl in it. All right, what does what the fuck does that do? What does that add to the game? Nothing. You could have just had a white. It's fine. You're al you, you do know you you're allowed. You don't have to have diversity in everything. You do know you're allowed that, right? You you're allowed you're allowed an all white cast and you're allowed an all black cast. Why are we why are we doing this? Why are we doing this stupid? See, the thing is, again, it's clear that he a didn't pay attention to none of the original God of War, and just played it and skipped every cutscene. Or he didn't he didn't analyze and let that information process in his head. And then if you actually go back and you see the Oracle who places the curse on Kratos, she's dark skinned too. God of War has always been fast and loose with its mythology. I mean, it's been like that since the first fucking game. So you got you got dumbasses like this when idiots like this try to make a point and it's not sound because both past games and current shit. Basically, and, and this right here of how there's more fans supporting this, where he says, oh, every fan would agree with me. No, you retard. Look how many likes and dislikes like that. There are more people, and I bet you that's the majority of the God of War fan base, because God of War has not messed up so far. They have not made a bad game. You know, people can say what they want about Ascension, but Ascension, if you look back, is actually a good game. But I don't understand why that one's the odd one out of the bunch, because personally, I think Ghost of Sparta is the worst game, except for the one revelation in it. But that's just me. Stupid shit. These double standards. You, you, don't, you don't need diversity in every fucking thing. But, I mean, they've obviously done this to get praised. Oh, look at us, friends. We put a black girl... In a Norse mythology story. Oh, what are you getting out of this? What, are you trying to get a fucking award? It's okay, how about this? Let's go to, let's do one more thing. Because, again, this is going to break, this like, this breaks his logic. Alright, let's do this for example. Uh, let's look at Sindri, for example. And I heard no one saying about this, but it's funny how his design, you can't say he doesn't, especially in his face. Sindri, come, come on, even now. Sindri has almost a Middle Eastern to Indian design in his face. You That much is certain, and he's kind of a little bit dark as well. You know, there could be different, what, what about when there's going to be different, what if there's different colored dwarves like skinned dwarves because you're gonna say oh then brock is blue no they explained that brock was beheaded kind of died got restored in magic that's why his skin is blue that right there again and why okay then what about this god of war I think you can see the vault through here instead of pulling up the scene. Um, okay, in the vault. Here. If it fucking loads correctly, yeah. In these vaults, why was nobody bitching when... Let me see if I can get it full screen. Hopefully I can. Where's it at? Where's that table that I just saw? There's an image of a table with the treasures on it. 
which shows, okay, again, for one thing, that means by your logic, Tyr should not have all these treasures from different mythologies of different races of people. Because then it doesn't make sense, right? Why would Greek treasures, basically Egyptian treasures, Celtic treasures, um, you know, all the little shit like that, then why would those be in the temple? You know, look, that's, I think, a Greek warrior or a Spartan right there. Why would there be all that stuff in there? They were already setting up that Tyr, Tyr had a diverse type of vault room. Twenty God of War 2018 already destroys his arguments. Is that what you're trying to get? But again, this is, this, this is just appealing to people that ain't going to buy it. The people you're appealing to are not going to buy it. What do you not understand about that? But I mean, th these people think that these people think that oh, oh, every black person wanted a black girl. No, it's like I can guarantee you that no, ninety-nine point nine percent of gamers have never said God of War has too many white people. I guarantee you, no one's fucking said it. Because you're the only one saying it. And I mean, you can say, oh well, it doesn't really. Well, well she's still, she's still a, she's still a token. That, this is still tokenism. That's what it is. That that doesn't fucking change whether whether it doesn't bother you or not. But it's it's just needless. There's, there's, what's the point? So I, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll I'll go and like make a game and I'll I'll just start race changing characters. What would you go? You, you call me a twat. You go. What are you doing, you twat? That's what you would say to me. Because we don't need diversity in fucking everything. I'm convinced that the people that do this have never experienced diversity. So they don't know what it is. They don't know what diversity is. Because these types, they, they go like to some event and they look about to see how many black people there are. Because they're fucking racist bastards. And they don't know that they are. I don't think you know, but you sound more like a racist just as much as the people you're comparing this stuff to. So... He A needs to look in the mirror, which I pray he could fit in the mirror. And two, it sounds like he needs to go outside and touch grass. They, they've never experienced natural diversity. They've never experienced it. I'm I'm almost a hundred percent convinced that is the reason why they don't get it, because they've never experienced it. But we've got to keep going down this bullshit representation shite. It's like no one's no one cares. Represent it like oh oh yeah because because every time a black person plays a game with like white characters they just they don't feel represented. It's like do you not realize the only people that go on about representation, the majority of us ain't listening to them, or we ain't on that side, including every other race. They they. Again, the like to dislike ratio shows that there's more God of War fans that don't really care as long as the game's good. So. As long as that thing keeps going up, his de his point just further sinks into the ground. Or into his gut. I don't know. They think it's fucking embarrassing. But you, you're just going, you're just like calling it for them. You're just going, no, you want this. But it's just uh, just another pointless race change that didn't need to happen. And they've got to contradict themselves, haven't they? And it, like I said, it's pointless even arguing with the people that that praise this shit because they they know they're hypocrites they don't care they, they don't care if you know they're hypocrites they don't care about it just how how the person that wrote this article didn't realize how how hypocritical they were being they, they were going on about the source material which people like this shit on all the time so they've shat they they've said oh well the original source material had fat four right right that's that's fair enough and then they, oh why shouldn't she be black you idiot! You've just you've just been you've just been praising the realism of four, and now you're you're trying to say say this uh, character was black. Is that what you're trying to do? Because you're a hypocrite. Uh, we we know you're a hypocrite. We think you're a piece of shit and all. Just throw that into the mix as well. These these people are so out of touch. They they're just out of touch with reality. Like I've said in the past, diversity isn't a good or a bad thing. Forced diversity is a bad thing, yes. Because there's no reason for it. 
And like I said, all, all they've done is added added one black girl in it. Again, more fallacies. God of War, fast and loose with the mythology like it's always been. And whether you believe it or not, it was diver It was diverse. Again, Kratos, the Oracle, Kratos' daughter. Okay, if he's going to go based on the trailer of Ascension that made the daughter look white instead of the in-game, which made her dark, then again, flimsy argument. This this guy looks like he's just been in front of, sounds like he's been in front of the computer way too much. And he's got to go out there and touch something, probably touch a boob. I don't know. That's not other than his. So, so oh, why aren't you representing the rest of people? Why aren't you doing that? Well, we just live in a world now where, where this is this is just what they're going to do. So I think what, what the normal thinking people should do is... That's the thing. How can he speak for normal people if he doesn't sound normal himself? And another thing, side note, it's been said on multiple occasions. The creator of the game, like the director of the last game, Corey Barlog, stated... That all the mythologies exist in the same on the same world. They all exist. The pantheons exist at the same time. The if like if you go to Greece, you end up in the you end up going against you know the Greek gods are there. Kratos went to Scandinavia, which is where the Norse takes place. Kratos already crossed through Egypt so far in the comic books. Has encountered some of the Egypt one of the Egyptian gods. You know who's to say people can't travel. Who's to say, and this could be the smart thing, and this would probably destroy his argument. What if you have characters from other places intermingling? Think about it. What about Atreides? You're not saying he's diverse? Just because his skin is light? Okay? He's technically Greek, frost giant, slash Scandinavian. That's pretty freaking diverse to me, but it seems like he came out with more of the tone of his, the skin tone of his mother. Because she seems to be portrayed as very light and described as such. So, ain't nothing wrong with that. Again, this this guy right here doesn't sound like he's ever stepped out of the house recently. Go and set up their own shit, really. That, that's, the, that's the only way away from this. Because I, I, I think the gaming industry is eventually coming to an end. Or, I don't know, just, just wait for Japan to bring out another game or something. That's probably your best bet. And it, it's a one-sided thing. I don't know why people people jump to... Oh, well, you don't like it because you're racist. All right. All right. With the way he sounded in this video, of course people would say he sounds racist because he doesn't think before he speaks, and that's been very evident in this video. Is, is that... Because is that, that's all they've got. Like I said, they ain't got any argument for... They haven't got any argument against it. So they just go racist so people just discredit you, disregard you. But the only ones that look like weirdos and idiots are the ones that froth at the mouth for this. And that the game developers that have done this for their friends, that they're eventually going to try and outwoke each other. Like Hollywood does. All Hollywood does at the moment is make, they make movies for each other. I mean, does this ruin the game? I don't know. I don't really know. But still, it's like, you've got to, you've got to stop. You've got to stop getting the hard-ons for race changing characters but let, let's let's just go and like let's just go and make black panther a white guy see you you wouldn't like it would you you'd call that racist so i'll be right back apologies for the quick interruption now i mean he's got a couple he's got like a minute or so left we should just finish it but Oh my god, this guy's stupid. So, so I tell you what, why don't we just not race swap any characters? My position doesn't change either way. If you if you make if you make a black guy a white guy, I'll call you a twat because it's pointless. But just it's just an absolute waste of time. No, this is waste of time. Waste of time arguing with these hypocritical twats. Absolute waste of time. It, it's only really worth calling out so so people. Other people that are sort of on the fence to actually understand it. That's the only. That's the only reason reason to argue with these types. But you're never going to change these types' of minds. They they know they're hypocritical assholes, and they know it. But it's just, just diversity for diversity's sake. You you don't need diversity and everything. I I don't know why I've got to tell it. I, I don't know why I've got to tell them that. 
I don't know why I've got to tell them that you don't need diversity in everything. Just another another pointless thing that's pointless. You haven't achieved nothing by it. You've probably alienated a lot of people because of it. But I think that's all I've got to say on that anyway. So if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Anyway, yeah, the majority of the fan base doesn't even support this idiot's decision because as you saw there's more people like he's in the minority of people talking about him and close-minded idiots like this is what you'll get nowadays it doesn't matter in this god of war universe because god of war the universe as a whole is fast and loose with its mythology plain and simple there's no debating that there is no arguing that there is no rationality that even he can come up with to debate that as you saw what i showed with kratos he was dark skinned and in reality he's portrayed he was portrayed by two black actors. So you know there's not really much I can say because I mean that guy destroyed he, he was destroying his own arguments and what has come before and what is going on currently now already in the games have already destroyed his argument. It's like people like this don't even realize that fucking the games themselves, like what's in the store, like even the story of the games destroys their arguments, makes them look stupid. So there's not much I can say. Um, I'm going to enjoy some KFC. Uh, Lord knows he would want some, but by what he said, <sighs> I mean, if he wants to keep that Thor physique, I guess that's up to him. So anyway, guys, be sure to like, subscribe, favorite. Uh, check out my Twitter. It's gonna be it's all my channel links. It's a new one after that pussy Mr. J had mine taken down and I will be sure to catch you all in the next video or you guys catch me in the next live stream. So until next time, I'll see you then.